Hello everybody, my name is uh, Santi or Santos Faya. I'm half Nepalese, half American. I moved to Nepal about two years ago to open a cocktail bar and this is the bar that we're in right now. Um, living in New York was a great experience. I went there knowing that I wanted to be a bartender, but I ended up learning so much more about the craft and it really taught me to appreciate the cocktail culture. And so I've spent many years there and I decided it's a perfect time to come back home and open a bar here. Um, the name actually comes from the song by the Beatles called Blackbird. I grew up listening to the Beatles my whole life and the song just kind of made sense to me and the name just kind of fit, so that's why it's called Blackbird. Um, so cocktail trends in Nepal have actually evolved quite a bit since I've been here. Um, new cocktail bars are popping up left and right and people are really getting into the fact that, you know, you don't have to just drink beer or whiskey or vodka or just shots, so it's nice to see people like appreciating it. The culture is out there, it's still pretty fresh, but you know, we're getting somewhere. The bartending community in Nepal is quite strong, I think. Um, you know, there's a lot of Nepali bartenders abroad as well, and usually people do go outside, but now I see that people are seeing that there's some opportunity to have some really cool bars here. So I think the community is just gonna continue to grow, and no, it's great that we're all connected, I mean, Every bar that's opened up recently, I'm super proud of them. I'm super happy to see that people are getting more involved in this. And so it's just been, yeah, it's just been a lovely two years seeing, seeing everything kind of just unfold as it is. What do I see for the future of the cocktail culture in Nepal? I think um, it wasn't really here. So, you know, it's a brand new thing. It's slowly developing. I mean, we're very honored and lucky to be the first bar to place uh, an international ranking on Asia's 50 best bars. And I think that's going to continue to happen. It might take some time. I mean, I'd say in a couple of years, things will change, um, just as they did in many other countries. But I think that, you know, now slowly liquor brands are going to be getting on board. They're going to be helping us out more. It's just a kind of community effort. Everyone needs to be part of this. And the more we work together, the faster we can grow and we can definitely develop this culture. And I think there's, there's a good future ahead of us. Uh, so my message to all of you guys is just, you know, keep doing what you're doing. It's been great. Um, as I said, I see a bright future in this industry and I see Nepal changing and evolving and people like, you know, this is, this is something that we can continue to grow and develop. I think that, you know, we do have the potential to do something great over here. We do have, you know, we're limited in ingredients and other things. There's so many things holding us back, but that just makes us stronger because with what little we have to work with, we end up making some really amazing things. And so, whereas other places, you know, you have many resources and many different kinds of, uh, you know, tools to help you. I think over here, we have a really good backbone because we have to be creative with what we have. And that's just gonna keep growing and keep getting better. Cheers.